Molvad VPN released a feature that made me start using it. Now I get the question a lot of what VPN I use. Actually, I get the question of a lot of the privacy and security tools I use. And today I'm going to talk about the VPN side of what I do. But it's not just about me. I want to tie this into all of you and give you all something to think about so you can make a better decision as for what VPN is best for you. So for the last few years, I've been kind of going back and forth between Proton and iVPN. So I'd use iVPN for six months. I would try Proton, but I could never really actually stick with Proton too long. Uh, for some reason, their clients seemed less stable for me. I was having more websites block me out on Proton. Now what really sealed the deal for me not using Proton really at all anymore was for those who remember, I was trying to set up NextDNS with a VPN, which essentially would allow me to make custom block lists and block really anything I wanted for any of my web traffic while retaining the benefits of a VPN at the same time. It's a very cool configuration. If you don't know what this looks like or you wanna look at it, definitely check out those videos. And since I made those videos, I've only been using iVPN and NextDNS. I also made that NAS video. And for those of you who watched the NAS video, you might've remembered I talked about TailScale being a really convenient and pretty secure way of connecting to your NAS remotely so that you don't have to directly open up your NAS to the internet. But uh, kind of using TailScale with a VPN can kind of blow sometimes. What it looks like is you have TailScale and your VPN running at the very same time, and uh, sometimes you have to connect one before the other one connects, and they just don't play along super nicely. Mulvad made a really bold move because they partnered directly with TailScale, allowing you to purchase Mulvad within the TailScale ecosystem, and that's what I did, and it is freaking phenomenal. I mean, now all I do is I install TailScale, and it's already linked up to my Mulvad account, and that's it. And I can both connect to my NAS and get the benefits of a privacy respecting VPN via the same VPN connection all through WireGuard. And within TailScale, you can set NextDNS inside your TailScale settings. And they really improved the UI uh, from the first release. And I think it's flawless. So I've been using this configuration on desktop now uh, pretty much since they've released it. So it's been uh, at least a couple months and it's just been phenomenal. I freaking love the thing and it just works so great and I have almost no issues. I haven't had such a clean experience in such a long time. And so, gosh, <laughs> such a good move <laughs> I'm all bad. I just, I'm so blown away by it. Now it's not perfect. So I tried replicating this on mobile because I mean, I'm paying for Molvad, so might as well also use it on mobile. Um, unfortunately, for whatever reason, TailScale on mobile was a huge battery drain on iOS. I don't know if this was a bug, I don't know what happened, but I was checking my battery settings and like 30% of my battery usage was from TailScale, and I, it seemed like it was only happening when I was doing this with uh, Always On, Connect, via Mulvad. I don't know what was going on there, but either way, I don't actually like using TailScale on mobile. I find specifically Synology's clients on mobile to just not interact well with TailScale, and so I don't really use it anyway. So actually, I decided to stick with iVPN for mobile. Yeah, isn't that weird? So now on desktop, I'm using Mulvad, and on mobile, I'm using iVPN. And honestly, I think iVPN's mobile clients are pretty unmatched. They're just phenomenal and I love their mobile clients. And so I'm really glad I get to stay with iVPN. For context, they're the only VPN. Yes, I really mean this. They're the only VPN, as far as I know, that actually integrates with Apple's new widget system. And when I say new, I don't mean like this year new. I mean within the last few years new. Uh, most other VPNs still have you go into the ancient menu to set up the ancient widgets, which aren't even interactive. And so iVPN has an interactive widget now, which is just so cool. The pro to this configuration is I have kind of my dream situation at the moment. You know, there is n almost nothing I would change at this point in time from a usability, day-to-day -day experience perspective. It's just so nice. So I highly recommend this for anyone who's looking for anything I'm looking for. Uh, the main con is, well, I have to pay for two VPNs now, and that kind of sucks. Like, I don't want to pay for two VPNs, and I wish that I preferred the TailScale experience on mobile to iVPN. I also don't think there's a way to, like, port your Mulvad account over to TailScale. So if you already have a Mulvad subscription and you want to use this, you'll either have to have both accounts or you're going to have to delete your Mulvad account and then just create a new one through TailScale. So that's my journey. And you guys are all like, great, thanks, Henry. We kind of care. I don't know. Seems like people care about what I have to say. I don't know why, but you all do, and the numbers show that you do. So um, I do share about myself, and you all seem to care. A huge shout out to Tutanota, now Tuda, for sponsoring our content. They are so awesome, and they run on green renewable energy, and they're open source. They have an F-Droid client. They're on pretty much anything. Ah, oh, I love what they do. So if you want a, a new email provider that respects you and your privacy, check out Tuda down in the description. But let's talk about all of you and what I think I learned in this journey that can give you all some lessons. 
One, in, like I alluded to in my browser journey video, there's nothing stopping you from using multiple browsers. There's a ton of, oh my gosh, you are a f***ing idiot if you use Firefox, or you're a moron if you use Brave, because of my personal reasons that I don't like this thing. And you know what? There is nothing stopping you, and there's actually no good reason for you not to have two browsers or more installed on your computer, and you can just benefit from the good things from each one of them. There's no rule against that. Similar to this with VPNs, I don't see any reason why if you find uh, the Android client for one VPN is significantly better than the other, then maybe go for that. And actually, and actually on that note, I do have Proton VPN that's still being used on one of my Android devices because that's a work device and the, one of my Proton VPN subs is still tied to the business and so I don't mind using it on that one device. So I really just like to make all of you think outside of the box and get away from the, well, which one should I pick? I also want to say I was reluctant to try Mulvad because I was using iVPN for so long and I love iVPN. I loved it. I still love it. It's still a great experience. But if I didn't take a risk and try Mulvad and see what it was like, that I probably wouldn't have known that this it would just work so flawlessly. It's just so great. And that's another message. Take risks. If you see something that looks even mildly interesting and you have some spare time, go ahead and try it. And, you know, just delete the account or delete the service when you're done. So let's go through the lessons for today. One, take risks. If you see something that looks mildly interesting and you don't know how it works or you just want to see it, I don't know, try it. It might surprise you and you might actually find a different use case for it altogether than you were originally thinking of. Second, don't be afraid to try multiple things and integrate multiple services into your life. I understand that having multiple subscriptions is definitely a, oh, Henry is a little bit privileged kind of situation, but uh, sometimes multiple subscriptions can actually save you a lot of time and sanity and that might still be worth the cost. And a lot of things that I talk about aren't subscriptions and they're actually free and there really is no good reason not to use multiple things like a browser. Third, I didn't mention this, but I do say also applaud services as well when they do things like this. It's not easy at all for Mulvad to open up communication with Tailscale and actually integrate this and put in all of that massive work. And so I think acknowledging when services push outside of their comfort zone and really push boundaries, I think it's really nice of them to do that. So thank you Mulvad for doing that. And I think people should be a little bit appreciative of that too, just kind of you know, appreciate it for what it is. I'd love to hear what VPNs you use and what usability reasons you have for using your particular VPNs and how they interact with your devices and why you pick one over the other. Leave all that down in the description. I'd love to hear what some of your workflows are and also it allows other people to see your workflow and maybe you all learn from each other too because not everyone has my use case. And so thank you all for tuning in. Thank you to our patrons especially. Oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. You're making this free for everybody and you're allowing me to do this and keep sharing good information to all of you. So if you wanna join that community, Join us at patreon.com slash techlord down in the description. I also want to thank again Tuda for sponsoring our content. We couldn't do this without all of our supporters. So thank you so much. And I, I, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> it's a really quick video. I didn't even have a script. So yeah, I hope this turns out good. But we'll see you next time on Techlore. And yeah, see ya.